Hi everyone, today we are going to evaluate limits by factoring. Example 1, evaluate the limit of this rational function, x squared minus 3x all over 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 as x approaches 3. For our solution, let us copy this limit problem down here. We know that to evaluate this limit, we are going to substitute the value 3 to all the x of this function. And if we do that, we will have this 3 square minus 3 times 3 all over 2 times 3 square minus 5 times 3 minus 3. Simplifying further, the 3 square is 9 minus 3 times 3 is also 9. All over, the square of 3 is 9 times 2 gives 18 minus 5 times 3 is 15 minus the 3. When we simplify this fraction, we will have the answer as 0 over 0. This form here is what we call indeterminate form. We do not accept this as an answer. We will do another method. And that is, we are going to simplify first this function by factoring. And afterwards, we will check for some possible cancellation. So the numerator x squared minus 3x can be factored out into x times the quantity x minus 3 all over the denominator whose factors are 2x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 3. From here, we can see that there is a common binomial in the numerator and in the denominator. That is the x minus 3 that we can cancel out. Now we can see that the function is now simplified into x all over 2x plus 1. At this point, we can now evaluate the x by substituting the value 3. So we have now 3 all over 2 times 3 plus 1. The 2 times 3 we know that this is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, and we have our final answer as 3 over 7. Example 2. Evaluate the limit of the function x squared minus 16 all over x minus 4 as x approaches 4. For our solution, let us copy this function down here. Take note that when we substitute the value 4 to the x here, we will get an answer and that is 0 over 0. And we call this an indeterminate form. So, we are going to simplify this again by factoring and afterwards, we will look for possible cancellation. The x squared minus 16 can be factored out into x minus 4 times x plus 4. We can see now that the x minus 4 is common in the numerator and in the denominator. So we cancel that out. The limit of the function is now simplified into x plus 4. Now, we are ready to evaluate and substitute the value 4 to the x in here. So we have 4 plus 4 and the sum gives 8. This is our final answer. Example 3. Evaluate the limit of the function 3x minus 18 all over 2x minus 12 as x approaches 6. Let us copy this problem down here 
And please take note that when we substitute 6 to the x in this function, the answer will give us 0 over 0. And that is again an indeterminate form. So, we're going to simplify first the function by factoring and look for possible cancellation later. In our numerator, there is a common factor and that is 3. So we have here 3 times the quantity x minus 6. In our denominator, the common term is 2. So we pull it out and this is times the quantity x minus 6. We can see that the binomial x minus 6 is common in the numerator and in the denominator. And we can cancel it out. Simplifying our function here, we can now write the limit of 3 over 2 as x approaches 6. 3 over 2 is a constant, and we know that the limit of a constant is equal to that constant. So the answer here is simply 3 over 2. This is our final answer. Example 4. Evaluate the limit of the function the quantity 1 plus h is squared minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0. Let us copy this function down here and then take note again that when we substitute the value 0 to the h, we will get an answer that is 0 over 0 and that is indeterminate form. So, we are going to simplify first this function by expanding that exponent. Please remember that we have this special product formula. We will apply this rule to expand the 1 plus h that is quantity squared. So we can expand our function here to be 1 plus 2h plus h square and then minus 1 we copy here all over h. To simplify our numerator, we can see that there is a positive 1 here while there is negative 1 in here. These two numbers will zero each other. So our function now becomes 2h plus h square all over h. At this point, we can now simplify by factoring and later look for possible cancellation. In our numerator, there is a common term that is h. So we pull it out. Our numerator now becomes h times the quantity 2 plus h all over the denominator which is h and from here we can see that h is common to the numerator and in the denominator so we can cancel those h our function now is simplified into 2 plus h at this point we are ready to evaluate the limit and substitute the zero to the h here. So we write 2 plus 0 and the answer is simply 2. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.